Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about PCIe Power Draw. So to check this, you'll want to download HW Info. Once you have it downloaded and extracted, open Hardware Info 64, choose Sensors Only, click Run. You're going to want to scroll down to your video card area. You're going to look for GPU Rails Powers. Expand that, then look for PCIe 12 volt input power. You don't want voltages, you want to look at the actual watts. We're looking at the 3090 right now. That's pulling about 46, 47, 2080 Ti, pulling about 37 on this card, and my last 2080 Ti in this rig pulling 30 watts. Check some of my other cards here. 3070 will draw 120 total, 14 of that at the riser. 3060 Ti, 120, 13 at the riser. 2080 Ti pulling 30, 2080 pulling 28, 1080 Ti only pulling 24, but 1070 pulling 51 at the riser. So that's where a lot of guys, if they have SATA or Molex powering their risers, they can start getting into trouble. You're still technically under that 54 watts that a, a SATA or a Molex can handle. This PCIe slot can ask up to 75, like the 1070 on Ethereum, and I'm undervolting that quite a bit. I'm only drawing 94 total and it's pulling 51 just from the PCIe. And then you get over to something like Raven, 58 watts. Here I've reset all my clocks, so running 100% full power, so if something were to ever go wrong with the rigs and your overclocks were to reset, on my 3090 here, pulling 60 watts. Down on my 2080 Ti, pulling 47 watts on that one. 51 watts on that one and 47 watts on that one and that's where guys run into trouble because it's getting really close to that 54 watt limit SATA or Molex can handle so that's the issue is is you might be okay on Ethereum but if you were to try another algorithm or clocks get reset then you start really getting close to those numbers especially on something like a 3090. 60 watts is already over that SATA limit of 54 so it might be good for a while but it's good until it isn't. And remember we're running these 24 hours a day so just because something has a, a limit of 50 54 watts doesn't mean it can take 54 watts all day every day you need to follow that 80 percent rule that's like 43 watts so just got to be safe if you have to use molex i'll go with something like this single six pin to dual molex because then you're staying within the safety limits of what these connections can do but that's how you check it make sure you're safe but if you're trying out another algorithm you'd have to definitely keep an eye on that if you weren't using six pin but I always recommend six pin just to be safe so there you go have fun checking out your cards let me know if you find something that's over 50 watts down in the comments. Thanks for watching today, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Later.